Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. Gotta check my mic here, my battery. All right, so uh, I thought I'd answer this question. I just was writing some chapters in my new book. Uh, I'm writing this book about, uh, called the, or tentatively called The Complete Guide, Career Guide for Software Developers. And I was talking about front end versus back end in there. And so I looked and I saw this question. I thought, ah, oh, this is perfect. I'll just answer this question since I've been writing about this topic, which I find kind of boring, to be honest. I like to do the more opinionated stuff, but, uh, but yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm at this part of writing my book where I'm like, I'm defining things and talking about stuff that I'm not really super passionate about, but you got to get through it, right? So, uh, you yeah, I'm trying to bring at least some humor to it. That'll make it a little bit more entertaining, but you know, it's stuff you got to know, right? I can't like create a, a book about complete guide to software developers or complete career guide without giving you all the stuff that you need to know. So uh, before we get into that, I do want to take a moment to thank Hire.com for sponsoring Simple Programmer. They're pretty awesome. I don't get along with a lot of companies that, that have wanted to sponsor Simple Programmer to be mentioned in a YouTube uh, video, but they I, I do because I like... Uh, I like what they're doing. I like their philosophy. I like the way that they work. And I really like this idea of flipping the job search around. And, and you know, you can check it out for yourself. Go to hire.com forward slash simple programmer. Um, you'll also get like a bonus. So normally they give you like a thousand dollars when you get a job through them. They're going to give you two uh, if you go through that link. So check it out. See it for yourself. It's a, just a totally different way to apply for a job. I, I, I definitely recommend it. Let me know your experiences, by the way, uh, with, with them. I, I'd love to, to hear from all of you. So uh, let's talk about front end versus back end for the new programmer. Uh, so this email says, hey John, I just discovered your videos about a week back and I really find your channel useful. Perhaps you could help me with a dilemma of mine. I've been really interested in coding for some time now and shows like Silicon Valley have pushed me in this direction. I haven't seen that show, but I heard that it's pretty interesting. I don't watch TV, but um, I wanted to know whether it's better for a programmer to specialize in either front end or back end programming or they should know a bit of both. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I didn't really understand the difference and have been jumping between Python and HTML for some time only to properly start HTML again. I'm wondering, is there any demand for front end developers, especially with the rise of websites like Wix and Squarespace? Should I jump back to Python or continue on my path and check out the back end later in my career? Much appreciated, John. So, uh, there's confusion about what is front end and back end. I have a definition of it. To me, front end development is working on the user interface and the UI type of code that goes with that, right? And back end is anything that's not seen by the user, whether it be what happens, the business logic that happens after someone clicks a button, submits a form, all that stuff, connecting with the database, all that I consider back end. Different people say, oh, front end work means just doing HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Well, and now you get into a fuzzy area when you say the JavaScript, but just creating the, the design of the page. I, I call that web design. I don't know, you know, there's so many terms, so much confusion, but to me, front end is, is like I said, it, it's just, it's creating the website, the, the web page, and the visual elements of it, and it's some programming of it. There's logic that goes into user interfaces that doesn't have to do with the business logic of the application. That's where I kind of draw the line, right, to me. So, uh, what, what, what should you do? And do you need to know a little bit about you need to know a little bit of both, of course, right? So, well, and you can't not know backend development, right? I mean, what are you gonna do? Just create user interfaces? <laughs> I, I suppose you could, but but my, pr the backend stuff is where the real like programming happens. If you think about it, like business logic, algorithms, that, that stuff, there shouldn't be a whole lot of logic in the front end. There's gonna be some, and things are kind of blurring, you know, because we, we have JavaScript, JavaScript frameworks now where we're able to pull data from the database or we're able to like, where we have more complex things and sort of the wiring code and even the you know, MVC type of code in the front end in what <laughs> in, in the is so so we've got some business logic and an application flow type of wiring and you know code in the front end so that makes things a little bit more complex so it kind of blurs the line whereas before i think
think when we just had, you know, you had HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript, and then you had server, uh, server-side rendering, it was pretty clear. It's like server-side rendering, we could call that back-end, and we could call the, the HTML and stuff the, the front-end. Although, although, again, even at that point, I would have, I would have called the, the, the server-side rendering part the, the front-end, and I would have drawn a line and said, okay, when you actually get into the business logic, now you're in the back-end. Regardless, uh, it, does, it doesn't matter that much. I would say though that having both of these skills, knowing how to do this, right? Because what I think is really valuable for a software developer starting out is you need to be able to create an application all by yourself from the very beginning to the, to the end. That means that you need to be able to create the user interface, right? So you need to know the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You need to have, know some server side language, right? To be able to, it could be Python, it could be ASP.NET, you know, C Sharp framework, wh whatever you want, right? It could be Node. Uh, and then you need to be able to connect to database and get data, insert data, right? Because if you have that basic knowledge, then you're really useful. Now, Again, some people are saying, well, you, wait a minute, John, are you saying being a full stack developer, are you saying don't specialize? No, <laughs> I'm saying that you can't, you're not gonna be an expert in all of those areas, but you have to have functional knowledge. If you can build an application, that is a valuable skill because you're not gonna get stuck. You're gonna be able to fit in and help out and understand what's going on in the system. A lot of times when you're working as a software developer, the problems happen upstream that have to be traced downstream. And if you're like, well, I don't know shit when it comes to the database. Well, you're not gonna be very useful on the team, right? You can't just throw your hands up and say, oh, I don't touch database stuff. I, I'm a front end developer. I don't touch any of that back end stuff. <laughs> it's not, not, gonna be, not gonna be so useful. You see what I'm saying? So I would you know, pick what you want. You, you could specialize. If you're not particularly good at design, uh, I did a video on, you know, do you have to be a designer to, to do development? I've done some videos on that. But if you're not particularly good at design, you don't like design, front end is probably going to be a little bit painful. Uh, you might be able to hack the code and stuff, but you're going to look at what you're creating like me, and you're going to be like, that looks like shit. <laughs> and that's what I do when I do front end development. So I prefer back end development. I prefer to write, I can, you know, write an algorithm and like, you know, figure out how to design the architecture of the back end of a system. Um, and, and make this whole you know framework and stuff like that and I enjoy that so so that's that's kind of decide what, what you want to do and, and kind of specialize into one of those those areas but pick a specialty within the, that right it's not just your specialty can't be front end or back end but you, you want to pick like something niche down and you should be able to, to, to do you should have that, that capability. If I had to pick one, if I said, if you said, well, what is the most valuable? I would say front end simply because uh, there's more jobs where, where you're going to be expected to create something that faces the user to the, the you know, the, the web page or, or something like that. Even if you can't design it, but to be able to hook that up and understand how that, especially with the, with uh, the web 2.0 JavaScript frameworks and all this stuff. So. Anyway, I hope that helps you. This is definitely a confusing you know, topic uh, be, between front end and back end. Like I said, I don't think it's all that interesting. Uh, you just wanna write code. <laughs> you know, you wanna be useful to be able to write an application. And so you're gonna have to know a little bit of both to be able to do that, but you're probably gonna pick one place where you primarily focus and spend your time. So yeah, that's it. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you'd like to join the Simple Programmer community and support the channel, uh, check out the Patreon page. Uh, some really cool stuff, some really cool rewards there. And uh, you know, I don't know if I talked about the Facebook group enough, but we've got an awesome Facebook group where we've got Simple Programmer uh, you know, community together, answering questions, talking with each other, talking with me, I'm active in there. So if you'd like to kind of join that, it's pretty dang cheap, honestly, uh, to, to, to get in there. Uh, and, uh, and it supports the community, supports the channel, you, you become a, a member of it. So anyway, that's it. Uh, again, if you like the video, subscribe. I'll talk to you next time, take care.